Thank you all. Um, some familiar faces. I'll, I'll try to be very quick and to the point. Um, I heard uh, one of my co-panelists talking about Greece becoming a safe haven. Uh, it's kind of a good word after many years of uh, crisis and uh, a very big storm. I think, I think you know, where we are today, uh, it's a very comfortable point where we can say that Greece is investable again. Uh, there's a lot of investors that are sitting in London, Paris, Frankfurt, trying to figure out and understand how to get involved in Greece and how to put their money to work here. I think on a macro basis, Greece has moved from you know, a crisis country to a country with great potential. Now, how do we move and do we present and attract this capital? I think I, I'm here to uh, maybe show a different view from strategic investors that come to the country on, on very big, sometimes government-supported uh, investments. And I want to talk about more professional investors, capital providers, funds, that uh, you know, are looking to deploy capital in Greece and support businesses, develop whether it's street or business growth, etc. cetera. Um, from a professional investor uh, you know, standpoint, what are the hurdles, I think, for, for Greece to attract the capital? I think there are mainly three. At, and again, I'm simplifying again, but this, this is really how, how we would look at it. I think one, uh, it's finding local partners, you know, finding channels to invest. I think that is one of the major uh, requirements that after eight years of crisis, I think Greece is lacking today and that needs to be developed. Two is scale, scale of projects, scale of size, people who want to deploy resources, attention, capital, need to have projects that are worth their time and, and have enough size uh, for them to, to, to be mitigated. And three, most importantly as well, is a supportive ecosystem. Um, and I'm gonna you know, explain a bit what I mean. So first, on the local partner side, this is more, I think, a private sector effort than a public sector effort. Um, we are continuously looking for partners. I mean, private and professional investors, funds, capital providers, require local partners who will come with ideas, with projects. They require uh, local know-how, local expertise. They don't depend on themselves coming and setting up. So I think it's going to be an initiative from the private sector in Greece to um, you know, provide these ideas and to prepare itself for this kind of institutional money, whether it's from a governance point of view, organizational point of view, etc. On the public sector side, uh, in terms of you know, developing that channels to invest, I think the government has an obligation to guide entrepreneurs in Greece, uh, look at big themes and you know, give incentives. Uh, you know, someone thinking about Brexit, how does it impact Greece? Are we talking about you know, some kind of outsourcing business? Can we attract some of these businesses to, to Greece? And then give guidance and incentives to uh, local investors and local entrepreneurs to take advantage of that. So these are like a prerequisite for any fund or any uh, capital that's going to come from abroad that is very required today to sustain Greece and uh, uh, sustain growth in Greece. Two, I think, is scale. Um, scale is a very important part to get the best quality uh, funding and the best quality capital and the longer term uh, capital. You want to avoid hot money, you want to avoid people who want to come in for a year or two project and take advantage of the crisis. And uh, for longer term money and safe money to, to come to Greece, I think you need to have offer scale, and I'm talking maybe, again, it, it, it's all relative, but maybe 10 to 100 million type projects. Now, people tell me here, Greece, you know, it's not only driven by the market size. Uh, we've seen a lot of countries that are very similar in terms of market size to Greece that attract huge amounts of capital. Uh, you know, we look at Portugal has, had a, has been a very big success story, uh, Dubai, etc. You have a lot of economies that attract capital um, to come into the country and then use the country as well to, to export services. And I think Greece has a lot of potential in terms of human capital and know-how and knowledge to, to, to be able 
to attract these kind of companies that are based here and then even service the, re the wider region. And it has happened before, so I think scale is a very important part. Uh, part and, um, you, know, m you know, my per you know, personal experience has been that the, the system here resists large-scale projects. Um, if one developer, w you know, if five developers build five buildings, it's fine. If one developer de develops five buildings on its own, there's going to be a number of uncertainties that's going to weigh on the project. Uh, as a system, I think uh, the government can help by providing support to, to entrepreneurs who think, think big and who plan big by giving them, you know, uh, tax incentives for, for projects of certain size, uh, supporting their admin, uh, you know, reducing red tape, etc. have uh, special committees for, by the government that follow up on certain projects of certain size, etc. So there's a lot to be done there and I think there's a lot of potential. And my last point, and I mean that's clearly a public sector uh, responsibility, is creating the ecosystem for investors. Uh, to come to Greece and feel comfortable. I mean, the amount of legal uh, regulatory questions that are open-ended, you, you know, you start looking at a project and you say, okay, how long is this gonna take? And they're like, yeah, between three months and okay, there's a scenario, it takes three years. Uh, you know, these kind of open-ended risks, I think needs to be addressed by the public sector. Uh, government needs to be focused on the specific you know, uh, situations that, that are very easily addressed and just require some, some uh, effort and focus. I think on the ecosystem as well, I think there's a very big potential for Greece that's still untapped, which is the reversing the, the, the brain drain that happened during the crisis. I think also that's where, you know, the public sector can, you know, re-attract all this extremely competent uh, capabilities that left the country and built amazing experience and attract them through also tax incentives and, and uh, you know, uh, support and, and funding their, their, their entrepreneurial projects. Um, that, that these are my three points. You know, my, my main message is that capital is there. Uh, I think a lot of people are looking to, for, to Greece, like another Spain, another Ireland, another Portugal, like a potential success story in the next five years. And it's really a matter of the Greek system to provide these channels for them to come and deploy their capital. Thank you.